Yo guys, what is going on? Episode two of the podcast, the unofficial Tiny Score 19 podcast. As always, if you enjoy this episode, feel free to drop a like, subscribe, and let's do this thing, man. <laughs> All right, bro. Damn. <laughs> I didn't even think like this shit was gonna happen, dude. Like, damn. I'm surprised we're doing this today. Bro, bro, you're really here, bro. Like, this is real. This is not, this is not script or anything. This is off the No dome. script, yeah. There's no plan for this shit or anything, bro. Yeah, yeah, no plans. I literally didn't come up with any talking points besides, like, a couple in my head. And Duo, bro, bro if you're listening to this, bro, you, you've seen what he said the other day in the stream, right? Who, who? Duo. Bro, he was like, um... He was like, Damn, bro, was calling someone out like <laughs> pussy, isn't it? This is crazy. Nah, he was like, bro, you just gotta think of stuff like off the dome, like don't, like don't script anything. And what I was saying, bro, bro it was are. like, yeah, I know that's like what we're doing, but it's like most people they come up with like talking points like no, days dude, before. So like, every every single podcast I watch or like I tune into. Like it has like a main like topic, like yeah, the title. Yeah, 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 a main topic, and like, then it just whether it's like a pop culture. I was like talking about like the state of Marvel or something or shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like based on something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but like, bro, this is just straight off the dome. We're doing straight off the dome is like usually like we should have done is like have like like a couple talking points, but and then we could just like venture off to like whatever. But this is straight off the dome. So, <laughs> um, also. Um, episode one had got over a hundred views, so I want to say thank you to that. Um, I think it was like originally it's I like fire for the first episode. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I'm honestly surprised it got a hundred because like, bro, it hit like a peak of like seventy five or something, and then um, I made a short, just telling people to tap in, and then a couple days later it got like over a hundred. So it's a dub, man. Um, <laughs> it's a dub to the first episode. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I know. I feel like this one will go crazy. Um, so but uh, yeah. Do you want to give a I don't know, maybe if someone doesn't know you, do you want to give a quick intro by yourself? Okay, so most of y'all probably know me, I ain't gonna lie, but uh, I'm Riley, like I got a YouTube channel, Rilo, y'all probably know it, okay, my bad. Uh, <laughs> but no, I just, I, I stream on the low, I don't stream as much as I used to, I post on TikTok, mainly just like Star Wars content, and uh, yeah, I'm the same age as Ty, we went to school together and shit, so we've been friends ever since like what? 2018. Honestly, it honestly has to be like 2018. Honestly, like yeah, I think it is 2018. Honestly, that is. I know so... how I remember that. It's because what? um, I remember talking to you in gym class like for the first time, and like you were talking. Okay, I don't know if you remember this. I've actually never brought this up to you. Like, nah. you, you, someone was talking about Bo4. It was like in the change room after gym. Yeah. And like someone brought up like the Maddox, and like you were talking about the Maddox, and I started talking. And, like, he's like, yeah, I played it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and then like that, like I didn't know who the fuck you were, bro. But that's like the first time I ever talked to you. Honestly, like I'm not surprised if like that's how it started. But like, bro, Bo4, no, like, like we, we weren't we weren't friends right after that though. That's not how. Yeah, it no, yeah, no, 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 no. It was actually like the next year when we were friends because like I think it was like in bio or some shit. Well, like, bro, I mean, like we just we we stabbed beside each other, right? Yeah, yeah, that was at the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and then. And then, like, it was at, the, like, the start of the year. Mm. And then we exchanged, like, gamer tags. Like, we are talking about, like, MW 2019 or some shit. Yeah. Yeah, no. And then I remember we, we, played, we played that night later. Yeah. I think it's just because, like, I think we just had, like, like lots of classes together. Like, we actually had, like, a handful That's of classes. It was great and 10, then, bro. Great 10. Yeah, it was great 10. Yeah, yeah, So many classes together. And then also, like, other like other stuff helped, too, is, like, because, like, we both made the basketball team that <laughs> Oh, dude, that was a shit show. I no. <laughs> oh, wait, what, what was that grade 11? Oh, no, that was grade 10. Yeah, no, that was grade 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, wait, when was, was COVID? Yeah, that was 2018. Was COVID grade 11 or 12? Uh, it was half. I think it was like, 11, so yeah, it was, it was half. half yeah, 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 yeah. So, man, now nah, that's crazy. Honestly, I don't think, yeah, I don't think we've ever like 
I think like when people said like how like how we met, I think it was just like, through high school, but that was it. But I think it was literally yeah, just having was. like yeah, it was just, like first over COD and then like following years is just having like, classes together and shit. Because, and then, like, I, I didn't know you before high school, like at all. Yeah, literally. But we, apparently like we we seen each other before apparently uh, like or some shit you said. Oh like, you went to like the same like power skating lessons or some shit? We we went to like the same yeah, it was like power skating or like hockey it was like some like hockey like stuff over like I think well like like a week or I don't I forget how long it was. It was it was once a week for like a, like three weeks or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's like the very first time I saw you was actually at power skating. But like mm-hmm. and then honestly like going into high school, pff, I maybe knew like a total of like Maybe, like, a couple people. It was just from, like, playing hockey. But, like, yeah, no, everyone else in my school, like, I was, like, literally the only one that, like, went to um, our high... I was, like, just about to say the name. <laughs> no, I, but I was literally the I mean, only one. You can edit it out if you're doing this one day. Yeah, true. No, but it was... I was like, you know, you ain't going to edit this stuff. I I honestly like, I went through like, usually if I like have to like clip something out, like I'll just put the timestamp and then I can just go right to it after. But, uh, oh yeah. Um, yeah, I know from like my public school though, like I was the only one that went to that high school. So it was like, it was like all fresh. Yeah, it was like just all fresh going in. And then, so you went into the grade nine with like no friends pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah, I knew a couple kids from hockey, but like I wasn't super close with them. So, oh, okay. Yeah. 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 So, like, man, say more about that. So, like, how, like, how'd that go? Honestly, like, how did you start making friends? I don't even like, rem- oh, man, I went through a couple friend groups in high school because like, damn, bro was bouncing around. Friend groups. No, but like, bro, like, I don't want to drop names, but like, bro, it was, oh my gosh. No, you can't. no but like, oh, man, the first friend group, bro, like they were just, oh my God, they were farmers, bro. Like, that's not my thing, bro. Like, you, you know who I'm talking about, but like, bro, yeah, they're just, about, but I uh, like. Okay, how about this? How about we just talk like our general like high school experience? So like, oh man, bro. All right, so, man. Like, so after grade twelve, grade nine and shit. Like I don't know, I was hella nervous and shit. I was like I said, I was like fresh going into school. I didn't know anyone. Um, I don't even know how I started talking to people. I think it was just from like being class with people and then. I don't know, like, through mainly grade 9, I was just trying to, like, I fucking hated grade 9, bro, because it was, like, oh, my gosh. Yeah, was ass, yeah. So much shit happened, bro, like, oh, my God, it was just such a shit show. So, grade 9, I was mainly just figuring myself out. Um, Grade 10 is, like, where I found, like, my main, like, core friend group, like, everyone, like, that I was close with, like, by, yeah, by grade 10, I pretty much, like, found the people, like, I want to be around with for the rest of high school, so... Yeah, grade nine was ass. Grade ten, it was all right. It was honestly grade ten was decent. It wasn't terrible. Grade eleven, it was weird because it was like half, like half of it was normal and then half of it was COVID. Yeah, and then the first half was actually not too bad. Honestly, the first half was all right, and then man, by like grade twelve, so much stuff was hap- like so much stuff was happening. Uh, it was just like the COVID and stuff, and I, by grade twelve, I was just ready yeah. to get out of there. Like, I, yeah, that year was weird as fuck, bro. Because like I, it was like you went to school in the morning, and then like for like two hours, and then you went home. And the rest yeah. of the day, you were online. It was so weird, and you had one class a day back then. One yeah, class a day one. for two weeks, and then you switched for two. Weeks. So weird. You had like what were they called, like quad masters or some shit? Yeah, it was something dumb, but it was like. I just, like, like by then, I was, like, I've seen everyone. I know who the idiots are. I know who, like, the fuck, it, like, you figure out who everyone is, right? And it was, like, by that time, I was just okay. so sick of it. I was, like, man, just get me out of here. And it was just, like. Yeah, honestly, and, all, like, like ending high school, shutting the computer to, like, end high school, that was just, like, it felt so weird. Man. I literally remember I was online for my final high school class. I was doing math. Oh my case. Okay. So I was take I think it was like a math exam. And you're so and after you submit it, you're supposed to stay until the teacher tells you that you're good to go. <laughs> I submitted it and I just left. I was <laughs> <laughs> I knew I bombed that shit. So I was like, nah, I'm out of here. I'm out. See ya. 
<laughs> and then um oh, but I, yeah. I think i like just passed that if i was like holy shit man like and then i remember closing my laptop i was like damn that's high school over no no prom no like, nothing literally. and like yeah by the way like we did not have a prom or nothing yeah but, no like, it was just like it was, it was well, like, some people, like, there was a handful of people in our grade that, like, still got together and, and shit. I remember that. There was, oh, yeah, but, like, but, yeah, like bro, but, like, I wasn't, like, I, wasn't I wasn't cool enough. I never got invited to any of that shit or none, so I was, like. <laughs> I was invited to that, but I'm, like, dude, there's no point. I'm not paying for prom pictures. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, on, stupid, and I'm not paying for, like, a suit and shit. The following year? I remember, like, they had, like, a little ceremony for us, but I didn't even go to that either. I was like, nah. I don't even, like... My brother, Dude, like I just... didn't go to that either. The fuck? Yeah, I know. I didn't either. Like, oh, I'm out. Yeah, I know. And then I was like, yeah, no, I'm done. But, like, I don't know. High school, there was ups and downs. Um, honestly, I didn't... I didn't enjoy my high school experience, but I didn't hate it either, you know? Like... I don't know. The, yeah, I feel that. <laughs> the love life was kind of stale it. back then, you know, fucking like I, I didn't have a single girlfriend through high school. OK, before like people like start like coming at you for that, dude, like there were like no options at our school. Right? No, like, I'm telling school, you, like, dude, bro, literally the average was like fours. I'm not joking. I'm, I'm the yeah, average was bro. Four out of tens. Like, majority of high schools that you go to high schools in the city, like, it's literally, it was just filled of, like, bro, like, you could, there were so many options. But, like, bro, our school was pretty much in the middle of nowhere, bro. Like, the highest. Are, every, everyone knows each other. Yeah, and, and bro, it like, was so, we, exactly. Bro, everyone knew each other, and it was, like, bro, like, I didn't even want to dabble into that shit. Because it was, like, exactly. bro. Because, like, everyone, it is so much gossip, and everyone knows. I was, like, nah. No, yeah, no, no. So you like, don't, you don't even want to. So like, I talked to it like, bro. Like back then, I talked to a couple, but I was like, nothing was like official though, you know. So it was just like, man, it was just yeah, like fuck, like dating wise, there was nothing there, bro. Like fuck. See, I had like one throughout high school. Yeah, and that was like at the start. Like it was at the start of grade nine to like the end. Of semester one and grade 10. So, like, a year and a half. Yeah. year and a half? Yeah, a year and a half. And, like, after that, I just, like, focus on school and, like, hockey and stuff. Yeah, honestly, like, yeah. It was, there's so much drama in high school, bro. It was just, oh, my God. Like, that's why I was, like, I was, like, ready to be done with it, bro. I was just, like, man, like, fuck this shit. And it was crazy. It was, like, even after the years after high school, like, Bro, I'm not even talking to any of these dudes, bro. Like, I haven't, like... That's the bro. thing. Like, literally, like, 95% of the people you see in high school, you will never see again in your life. Or I'm, never yeah. talk to. On, like, bro, I'm telling you right now, bro, like, man, it, like, if like if there's people in high school, bro, you don't like or something, bro, just trust. Once it's over, bro, you're never going to see them again. Like, unless literally. you're, like... So, like, if y'all, if y'all think... Like, the biggest thing I regret from high school is, like, um... Pairing what everyone else thinks, yeah. like, dude, just don't. Because you're not going to see any of these people bro. again in, like, three years. You're really not. It's You're just wasting energy. Literally, bro. It's literally, for a majority, I mean, you'll still talk to, like, the odd person, like, bro. Like, but, like, for majority, bro, it's literally just a temporary friendship, bro. Like, that's why I'm saying, like, yeah, just don't even, like, worry exactly. about it, bro. Because, like, you're going to realize the majority of the people, like, they're part somewhat fake because bro like it'd be a genuine friendship if you like still like stay in touch with them and do shit right. like even after high school right. stuff man so like yeah don't even trip about that shit man because like yeah high school is just it's fake bro like bro there's nothing to trip about it's only a phase of your life it's yeah. only four years it's not like the four years goes by quick man yeah it, it is does. it's overhyped and like it, it honestly it goes by so quick like going into that sh- shit bro i was like yeah no nah, this is gonna take forever bro four years over just Same, like that bro, bro. I remember, like i still remember like the first day of high school dude like i was like so nervous and shit like i was like <laughs> i barely slept the night before 
And like I had like my clothes all ready to go. Like, from the, remember, I I wore like all white. Like I wore like a white Nike hoodie, like white Prestos, and no. I had like a black and white hat, dude. I was like I was looking flying, but I mean, like if I look back on it now, it's probably like cringy as fuck. But yeah, I remember that was back in like 2017. Yeah. No, that was like seven years. Yeah, ago. no, that was a long time ago, bro. So like... I guess we're unks now. Unks status. <laughs> so wait so yeah that's pretty much like my high school experience like i didn't i didn't enjoy it but i don't know i fuck, i low-key hated it but it was whatever i was kind of glad to be done with it okay, so like wait, right out of 10 though whole high like, school experience four? like four i'm stuck between four or five to be honest man like I yeah know, mine's probably like a five and a half like mine like, i'm saying max five like I it's it. okay. nothing crazy so yeah is there anything you want to touch on from like your high school experience or it was like i mean like for the most part it was okay it was just like yeah sometimes you had like the idiots that were like yeah i don't know like, you would see every day <laughs> in your classes like that was just like the only thing i didn't like just like seeing all like the people i didn't care about so, yeah like, i really did not give a shit about most of the people i saw but yeah for the most part i had like my own friend group um, I mean, like, I didn't hang out, like, with you until, like, grade 11, so. Yeah, it was, like, um, it was, like, mainly grade 11, yeah. Yeah, so, like, I don't know. It was, like, I would say, like, max, it was, like, a 6 out of 10 experience, but, like, for the most part, like, I played on the hockey team for a couple of years, basketball team one year, you were there for that. That was yeah. a shit show. The like, an absolute, like, we, won, we won, like, we won, like, two games that year. Oh, my God. So, I yeah, we literally won like max two games, bro. Like our team was so fucking ass compared to like everyone else. And it was like Yeah, but our school, like we're not a basketball school. No, our our school is a hockey school. Like out of all the sports, yeah, like but, um, Yeah. Yeah, no, it, it was literally when I was on the hockey team. It was in twenty nineteen, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like right before COVID. Um Oh no, it was the year before that. It was 2018. My bad. So grade 10, um, we went to um, like the finals for our like district, mm. and uh, we actually lost the finals. So that was Damn. Like, probably like my best experience in high school. It was just like playing on the hockey team. Oh yeah, playing with so, all like, the. Overall, it, it was it was pretty mid. <laughs> playing with all the. Cool hockey kids, fucking oh my god, oh, yeah. Yeah, bro! Know. And I'm telling if you, bro. If y'all have like people at your school, if y'all people at your school who are like jocks, like, who play like basketball, football in Canada, bro, it's like it's the hockey kids that are the jocks, bro. Yeah, and I'm telling you, bro. If... By the way, I was not one of them. I was not a jock. <laughs> I was not no fucking crap or anything. I was just I kept myself for the most part. I had my friend group. <laughs> You know, like, I wasn't, like, crazy pulling, like, girls left and right. Like, bruh, I was average, bro. Bro, if, if bro, bro, like, Ron Dust, if you played, like, hockey, like, bro, all the girls are just going to go towards you, bro. No, yeah, yeah. It, it was... And, and at our school, if you played hockey, your aura went up by, like, 50,000, bro. Yeah. Like, that ass. Like... It did. It, bro, it was just so ridiculous, bro. If you aren't a farmer or a hockey player, you, you might as well just don't even try. Like, bro, it was so whack, bro. But it was like, I'm not even tripping looking back on it now because like, all the chicks were mid, bro. I have, like... Oh, yeah, you want to talk about the chicks real quick? So, like, if you didn't play hockey or you didn't have a luck, you're chalked. You're not pulling shit. Yeah, but you're like, not. Like Ty said, it doesn't matter because they were all, like, like, probably there was, like, a couple, like, there's a couple like, decent. There, there's there like, a couple there's, decent there's a couple ones. Like, eight tens, but like, dude, most of them were like like sixes. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, compared to like people in the city, bro. Like nothing, oh, yeah. bro. Like man. <laughs> yeah, no, that was crazy, yeah, bro. Yeah, if, if you didn't have a truck or you play hockey, oh, or a truck, you're fucking not pulling shit. Yeah, 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 a truck, a truck. That's instantly boom. You're getting like a bunch bro, of girls. It didn't matter if it was a fucking rusty old 2003 yeah. F450. Like it didn't matter, bro. Straight pipe don't matter. 
<laughs> oh man, high school was crazy, bro. Like, oh my god. Yeah, it was. It was. I mean, we only had like what, like two and a half years of experience. Yeah, we like, did. High school experience. We like real high school is like two and a half years. Like we even get the full four years. Um, it kind of sucks though. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, bro. It it sucks, but I mean, I could imagine doing all high school like online or something is like at least we got like oh, that'd be terrible yeah like at least we got like a couple of years like two full years so i was like yeah it was all right i was you know I was glad it was over you know um so like the next year right after high school then so you went to college right after right i went to yeah so right after high school like man i was starting to panic because like people it was like man like usually like, the next step is like college i was like i have no idea what i want to do pressured bro. a lot to, to do to do that i, I was pressured because like bro like i just like like i was just trying to do like what everyone was doing just go to college pick something and just do wait, it so was so, that the year right after high school or was that, it like did you wait a year no i went i went literally right after high school um okay okay i was stressing about it like honestly up until like a month before college, I was really so stressing about because like I just picked like a business. I was doing like, business marketing or something, and it was um. So yeah, I went to college right after high school. Um, and it kind of sucked. So like I stayed down there. Like I was in a dorm, and um, but it, literally all the classes were online. So realistically, there wasn't any point for me to be there. But like I stayed down there just to see if I could get like a little bit of experience and shit. Just with like. The whole college atmosphere and everything. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I met a couple people. I went to a couple parties. You know, i I had oh, a yeah. little I had a little bit of college experience, but like I didn't have like the full thing because COVID was still a big factor. But um, so yeah, I did a year of college, and then after the year was up, um, I came back home for the summer and then I was planning just to like finish out the course because I think it's like two or three year course or program would have been three if three it's marketing, it was probably three yeah yeah I'm pretty sure it was three yeah so but I remember I feel like I didn't even said this before I filled two classes so that Damn. the year after so I literally passed everything except for two classes it was I think it was math and um it was like it was like one of those like stats math or like was it no it was just like i forget what math it was it wasn't like it it wasn't basic math but it was like kind of like advanced yeah i don't know it fucking i remember (laughs) i was doing the exam for that bro i was like just search because it was online so i was like just trying to search Everything, <laughs> yeah, dude. bro. I was stressing. I mean, the line, bro. Like everyone does that shit. Like, yeah, I, I, I did. I did that for my exams this year. Yeah, like, I can't even lie, bro. And the other class was um, it was like some like Excel sheets or something. It was like it was something with like Excel, yeah. and it was like there was a bunch yeah. of like math and like sheets you had to like spread it. Oh, it was just so t- like, bro. Like spreadsheets, yeah. Yeah, I hated that. Was really my worst class ever, and I just hated it. I was like, all right. So it was. I rather redo those two classes in the summer and then just start next year normal, or just drop out. So I was like. Man, I didn't even, like, I'm not even enjoying what I'm doing. I literally dreaded doing college and shit. I was like, all right, fuck it. You know what? Drop out. So I dropped out after the, my first year. And I um, <clears throat> I dropped out. And I just said, um, I'm just going to figure it out. And then, I don't know, I'll maybe go back for something else. I literally just haven't figured anything else out. <laughs> <laughs> I I literally I was in I was in debt so I literally just paid off my debt and then I've been literally just saving money. I was like, man, if if I'm not yeah, even gonna find like something, that, if I'm not even gonna find something like that, I'm not like that. I don't enjoy is like, what's the point of me wasting even more money, bro? So, um, so yeah, I pretty much did a year and then I dropped out because I fucking hated it. So yeah, but like. So your first year of college, though, like that's when you started YouTube, right? Because we started like right at the same time. It was like you started like a day before me or something. Or I maybe I actually remember this. So man, so yeah, I think were you 
You took a year off right after, didn't you? After high school, yeah, you took a year off. High school, I just I, I took a year off. Like I yeah. was kind of working like with my uh with my brother. We would like we would like make uh, driveways and shit like pressure wash. So that's kind of what I did for like that. And I had a lot of free time, so I would just like I would stream, bro. So like that's when I started my YouTube channel. Uh, so pretty much, it was November, twenty twenty one. Yeah. So I would stream every single day. So like once I was done pressure washing, I would um come home. It was like I don't know, like maybe like four or something. I would stream for like two hours and stream, eat dinner, you know, do what I had to do at home. And I would uh, stream again at, like, 8 o'clock until, like, 10. Dude, those were, like, the days where I was so hungry for the grind, bro. Like, I'm yeah. sure you remember that. Yeah, yeah so, sure, like... like uh, there's, uh, there's, like, a handful of people who are watching this uh, podcast who remember that. Like, only the smug few, like, maybe, like, two people. Yeah, like, those. back then, like, bro, I'm telling you, like, we were actually, like, we were fuck, like, we were hungry for the grind, bro. And I literally remember this because I think I messaged you because like I was I was like a couple months into college. I was like, I always wanted to do YouTube. Like I always wanted to do social media. So I was, but I never did it in hey, high can school. We, can we talk about this real quick? What? So like why we didn't do it. So like I didn't do it back in high school. Just oh yeah, like, yeah. I just feel like I would like get like made fun of or something. But like yeah. looking back on that, it's just so, so stupid because like. Nobody really gives a shit. Like, who the fuck yeah. cares what anyone else thinks? Like, literally, just do what you want to do, bro. Like, that's like one of my biggest regrets is not doing this there. Yeah, yeah, no, literally, I always I'm, wanted to do it. What is Zach saying, bro? Like, when I was a kid, bro, like I would always watch these YouTubers. I was like, man, like I really want to do this. Like, exactly. I really, I really want to do this one day. So, like, I never like, but I never really did it until like I was in college. So I was like back in high school, like I was thinking about starting it back in high school. But I remember I knew this one kid in our grade and everyone found his old YouTube and they're just clowning the fuck out of him. And it was like, OK, yeah, if I do this and people find out like I'm like I'm cooked like, bro. And yeah, I know. So I that's literally the main reason why I didn't do it back in high school. Like when I first wanted to like really do it because it's like, man, I just didn't want people to find out. And it was like, bro, I just like want to stay in the low end, and yeah. But um, literally, as soon as I got out, as soon as I got out of high school, and I um, I just didn't care what people thought. I was just like, all right, man, screw it, we're gonna do it, you know. Um, exactly. Like, I, like just looking back on that shit, bro. Like, you regret that, right? I I regret. I I should have just did yeah. it anyways, bro. Like, me too. But um, I'm happy we are where we are now. Yeah, so like I remember, I was I was like a couple months into college, bro. Like I was like just getting deeper into this. Like I was like just imagining, I was like, man, like I really want to do this. So I remember I hit you up. I I hit you and I hit Venti up on the same day. I was like, all right, man, I'm just gonna ask a couple people if like I should like really like, try this. And both of you, both of y'all said yeah. And it was um, I was like, all right, fuck it. So I was really into 2K at the time. So. I remember I made a montage and then I uploaded that and pff, bro, I still I, remember that video, bro. That got like honestly, that got like I think like a hundred and something views in the first couple of days. I was like, holy shit! I was like, like expecting dude, that, like, like if that was me. I would went crazy over that, bro. Yeah, views, a hundred people watched my. Video. I I was yeah, I was always so ecstatic, bro. And then um. So I literally just stare at. I always keep refreshing the stats every day that I post it. I was literally just so invested in it. Bro, I would do that too. I would pull up and, my YouTube studio like twenty times an hour, bro. Like it was bad. And I um. So yeah, I think I forget if I uploaded like a couple of videos, but I remember I got um. I was playing BF two, and that's when I got banned for a week. And dude, I remember that, and that's when I started. And that's bro. when, and that's when you started. Yeah, so. Um, literally, so I was playing BF2 and this guy messaged me. Uh, he's just a toxic dick. <laughs> he's like just a toxic dick, bro. And I gave and I messaged him. I said, like, man, I was, I was like saying like a bunch of like swear words. And I was like, where's your, like, you don't have a dad. I, I was saying like the most crazy shit, bro. And it was, so he, he reported so me. So was in a car lobby. <laughs> Yeah, so he reported me and I got banned for a week and I only have like one PlayStation account like I don't have an alt and I could have made an alt but I was like man I'm just gonna wait out the week like screw it bro I'm like 
I'm not going to just make an alt for like one week. So I waited out. And then during that week I was banned. You started. And then I still, I don't even still remember your first stream, bro. Like, I didn't oh see, my gosh, like, that was, <laughs> I think it was like me and I think your brother in there. Um, yeah, that's it, dude. That's it. Yeah. And I was like, okay, yeah, like, bet, like, we both doing this. Like, let's, like, like, let's really do it. Doing this shit, bro. And shit. So I remember I got unbanned and I would just, yeah, I would just start making videos. And then I was like, yeah, I want to start streaming as well. So, like, I already started streaming. I remember I had a couple monitors. My one YouTube page would literally be on my one monitor and then my PlayStation would be on the other one. I'd literally just, like, I would just literally leave my YouTube channel up. I had, like, two subscribers. I only remember, I, I at least still remember getting my first two subs, like when I went from like two to four. And bro, I was just like, yeah, man, dude. like countless day in, day out. I was literally just staring at my channel. Like I would just, I would just like love dude, staring bro, at it. Like, way. like bro, it was so crazy. And um, yeah, that's literally like how we started. Like we both just kind of said like, screw it, man. And we just kind of went crazy, you know? Like, and yeah, we're honestly, hungry. like the first like, the first like six months for me at least went really well like you had a so really I good first day like, yeah so i i started off like doing like those two streams a day they were getting like 40 views or whatever like and i was like hyped at that like 40 views like that's pretty good i, I don't go like it. so like i thought that was pretty decent and then, like i took uh, like a month break because i was like okay so this is kind of getting tired and like it, the views aren't really going up i remember and, that like, yeah yeah <laughs> subscribe this one subscriber messaged me, like, bro, you haven't streamed in like, in like a month. Are you okay? Everything all right? <laughs> Mr. Streams. And like, that was like one of the only guys who watched my shit. I'm like, dude, yeah, I should come back to stream. And like, and like I'm, I kind of missed that stuff. So I came back. My first stream, I had 14 viewers. And that was like way higher than like I would have in the past. So I was like, bro, like this is crazy. I got 14 people in my chat. So after that, started streaming every day. The views started going up from like a hundred to three hundred to five hundred to eventually like a thousand every stream. Yeah, <clears throat> like easily every stream a thousand. So that was all on Battlefront two. I'd only stream Battlefront two because like I'm looking at the views right now. It was it steady went up from like fifty to like a hundred to three hundred to five hundred to like and then it went right up to like a thousand. When I started doing Lego Star Wars. Yeah, that and then after that Your Lego shit was crazy, bro. Like, oh yeah, my god. That was my pro- like that was actually my prime. Didn't bro. didn't you hit your all time peak like viewers on that one? Like was that was yeah, that on BF two or, or was I Lego? I honestly, bro, I only just hit my max like like <clears throat> around the new year. I forget what it is. I think mine's like just over a hundred. Wait, is it wait on FNAF? Yeah. You 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 got over a hundred, what? I'd have to double check with Venti because I'm pretty sure Venti knows, but I think I think it's like one oh like four or something like that. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, but my most was at I think it might have been one thirty some or like I think it was like one twenty to one thirty. Yeah. And honestly, like bro. You just you you. It's so nerve wracking in the moment when you're not used to those I numbers. Know, bro, you don't <laughs> like, know what to say, bro. bro like, like, you're just like oh nervously reading God. every chat. You're like, Yo, what's up, bro? Like, like, you're like, bro. It's like crazy. It's like crazy, it's like crazy feeling, bro. <laughs> it's so nerve wracking once you get like high numbers in there because it's like, yeah, you just don't know what to say, bro. Exactly. Um, you yeah. Gotta keep like keep doing what you're doing bro yeah so like yeah i did like hella 2k at the start and then i was like oh, man i think i was getting like a max of like i think like 20 to 30 subs i had like when i started switching off that i started doing like story games i remember it was the spider-man and arkham batman games and like that like was like like really made me start growing um i always still remember like hitting 50 subs i remember i hit 100 subs on arkham knight um i remember that and yeah no shout out to like bro i remember um silent he's like one of the ones like back then that still joins my streams and is like 
Yeah, I remember he you being there forever, bro. Like, bro, yeah, no, shout out to Silent Man. Like, bro, he comes through on like all the Go streams. Supporter. And like, yeah, he found me out like around like 100 subs. And I was like, man. You don't just... care what you're playing or Literally. Nothing, bro. You just there. Like, even like every stream, like sometimes, like, he'll even come in for like 10 minutes and chill or something. Like, bro, it's every stream he's in there just for at least a little bit, man. I was like, man, that's fucking, man, that's dedication right there, bro. Um, but yeah, I know I would just start playing story games and shit. And then like, we also like pretty much share communities now. Cause like, <laughs> like at the start, like you was just like, yeah, you had like way more subs than me. So like you were just getting, um, but like when you started YouTube, like you had like what, like 50 subs or something like that. Okay. So I didn't tell, I didn't tell you all this. So before I do it, I did Battlefront 2. I did COD videos. They're not on my channel anymore. They're all private. <laughs> but like I make I would make videos back in like twenty twenty on um Modern Warfare twenty nineteen on like just like class setups and like just Easter egg stuff like that. And the, no, I like subs from that it was pretty cool. But um yeah, I just private all those and started fresh. It's Star Wars content. Yeah, so like, yeah, you had like something. Yeah, you had you already had like a handful like when you started, and then yeah, you just skyrocketed. Yeah. I was at yeah this channel like I literally started like straight from zero, and um, but yeah, like I remember at the start like like you gave me like hella shadows because you were growing like so quick and shit, and um, yeah, no, so that's kind of like how the sharing community kind of started is from like shoutouts and stuff, and then the core community that still like sticks around, like you know, like yeah, they pretty much come to like all you the streams. Know who you are. Yeah, 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 you, yeah, everyone that still like sticks around, like yeah, you guys know who you are. Um, I yeah, mean, if they, you're watching this podcast, you're probably a real one. So yeah, so um, so yeah, we kind of start sharing communities, and then. Yeah, even though, like, even though, like, yeah, like, we're still, like, just doing, like, we're streaming, like, our own games and stuff, like, people still just, like, come through and stuff, so, you know, yeah, honestly, yeah. that's, that's pretty cool. I mean, like, we used to always just stream at the same time. Yeah, I, yeah, literally, like, both of us, like, like, I was just say, like, even the other day, it was, just, like, how hungry we were back then for it was, like, just on a different level. It's crazy. Like, yeah, okay, I got a question, you know, like, what yeah, do you think has changed that? Like, do you think it's, like, the community <sighs> itself, like, the toxicity, or, like, I've always wanted to ask you this, but I, I haven't. It's, yeah, okay, no, like, honestly, like, I, I'll anyone... I'll give you my answer after you answer. Okay, but, so, okay, yeah, honestly, it is part of it's from the community, because, like, bro, ever since, like, yeah, ever since we started sharing communities, I do, I do still appreciate the support, but I have gotten, like, a lot of hate, just from, like, even the start, but, so... Man, sometimes, like, you just let the hate build up every stream, it just... True. It builds up so much, bro, and then it's just like, man, this shit ain't motivating, bro. It's like, yeah, you have the real ones that are still supporting, but then, bro, you got, like, the haters, bro, that are just saying on stream. You know, you ain't gonna, like, you ain't gonna grow. You ain't gonna make, like, bro, you're gonna do all, like, just, like, a bunch of, like, negative stuff. And it was like, man, that shit is so, demo- like, it's just so, like, not motivating, bro. And it's like, sometimes, yeah. like, man, back then, like, I was used to good just to, like, truck through it. But, like, <clears throat> over the years, man, it just, it gets tiring and shit. Like, I still, I, I even get hate. Not as much as I used to. Like, I used to get a lot of hate back then. But I still get a little bit yeah. now, but not a lot. Um, But, yeah, no, it's just, like, so part of it's from the community, just from being toxic. Um, <laughs> What else? It's a small part of it, though. It's not like small, everyone is. Yeah, no, not every, obviously not everyone in the community know, is toxic. I know there could be some motherfuckers saying, oh, imagine blaming, like, yeah, then, like your community, bro. Yourself. You know, it's being said. You know who I'm like. You know who I'm talking about, bro. You know, like, bro. At this point, you know who I'm talking about. But no, so small part of it's from the community. I think a job, like, bro, a job takes up a lot of time, bro. A lot of energy and time. Um, That's true. Yeah. And it's just like, man, I don't know what else. Um. I think because, like, we've been doing YouTube for almost, like, three years now. and um, It's coming on three years, yeah. Yeah, this November will be three years that we've been doing this. I think it's just, like, over just yeah. over time, it's just, I don't know, it starts to get 
Like I still have the passion in me, but it just gets tiring, Same. you know. Like I, it just yeah. gets tiring because like it's like I don't know because you have expectations you're not doing it for so long. If you don't yeah. meet those expectations, then your motivation goes down. So yeah, that's why I've been trying to like detach myself from like all numbers and stuff, and just like go back to like the roots of streaming, just like having fun, talking to chat. And like, yeah, maybe the numbers like, oh yeah, your your channel's dead, your stream's dead, <laughs> just quit. I just try to ignore it. I don't even read it. So, yeah. Um. So, yeah. It's just like, but I'm gonna try to do the same thing. I'm trying to go back to the roots. Like I'm just kind of just trying to stream like whatever I want. You know, just chill, vibe out. Because like, once I start hitting like decent numbers, like yeah, my expectations are getting high and. I just kind of like want to bring that back down and just kind of start going back to like what I originally started doing this for and just kind of just like making stuff I enjoy and then hopefully like other people enjoy it too. Um, and I feel one of the get yourself from the numbers, it's like a lot more fun to do because if you like start up a stream with the mindset of like, oh, if the stream doesn't do well, then I'm going to end or like, or yeah. if the stream doesn't do well, that like, uh, like I, I won't be happy like dude just detach yourself from all that yeah like honest low expectations like bro i turned off like the um the number counter the so, like counter. the view counter yeah, yeah I can't. i've done the same like honestly ever since i've done that like i've been like less stressed out because it was just like all right i don't even know how many people are in here but it's just like there could be two or there could be like 10 yes, it doesn't yeah, matter exactly. you know i'm just kind of doing my own <laughs> thing so it's um but so, I'm just saying, like, we will, we will eventually get back up there because, like, nothing ever stays the same. Like, there's gonna be like that one game that blows up for us. Like, it just, it could be like, be like three months. It could be in, like a year. Nothing ever stays the same on YouTube. Yeah, you know? and I feel like, honestly, yeah. like, I think for sure, like, one day, like, I feel like we're just bound to like grow and just like kind of make it because I feel like a lot of people don't have the dedication. Like, like I said, like we're almost three years into this and like, we're still, we're not pumping out as much as like what we used to, but like, we're still like at least doing it like a decent amount. We're still like doing like multiple content things like a a week. Yeah. Like, like like over like YouTube, YouTube, Instagram. Yeah. TikTok. Plus we do like TikTok and stuff and, yeah, and I was like, I feel like over like that yeah. long of a span, I feel like a lot of people will just give up, and like we're still kind of just doing it. So I feel like we're just like bound something like eventually is gonna happen, and then like we'll just never look back, and just kind of like just glad we like, we just never stopped. Um, yeah. so I kind of want to like touch on this, like, so like the peak of my channel was. Okay, wait, you can go. Okay, so like one thing I actually wanted to just touch on is like the peak of my channel and like how like the views just started like down over time so like the peak of my channel was probably like battlefront 2 slash like the lego star wars right after lego star wars i'd say was my peak so like i would be this was like the summer of 2022 so like july august so like i think i had 2k subscribers by that time like i got a bunch of subscribers from lego star wars uh i hit 1k on that game and then after that I went back to BF2 because I hit 100% on that game. And then, uh, like, I was averaging, like, easily, like, 50 to, like, 80 viewers a stream. Sometimes I get over 100. Easily over, like, 150 likes a stream, 100 likes a stream. And then, like, I don't know, like, 2 to 4K a stream. Like, yeah. highest 4K, lowest, like, 1.52K. And then, like, so I was, I was you know, like, milking it. Like, I was doing it every, every day. I enjoyed doing it, though. But, like... The views yeah. definitely kept me going. Like that was that was what kept me going was the views. Yeah. And then like I just kind of like grew tired of it, kind of like by the time of like I, I want to say like September. But yeah. then I started doing like shorts, making like lazy content, like just get easy subscribers and stuff like that. Because like I just kind of like want to get like my subscribers up. That's what I cared about it was like the number I saw on the screen when I put up my channel. Mm-hmm. So, like I started doing shorts. It was getting, they were getting a lot of views, and I was still streaming when I was doing, like, the start of my shorts phase. I was still streaming and making shorts, but then I was getting so much more views from shorts. I'm like, dude, I'm just going to do this for a little bit. So I started doing that for a little bit. I was getting so so many subscribers from doing shorts. Like, just, like, they weren't even edits. They were just, like, like memes or, like, shit like that. Yeah. But then I kind of, like, I grew into doing edits. I stopped streaming for a little bit. And then, like, 
So my I also like my last stream did like pretty well, like forty viewers or something, like one k, two k views. Then I went back after like the two months of taking a break and just posting shorts. The stream got like two hundred views or three hundred views. Yeah, so like that's what like made made me like fall off was doing the shorts. Yeah, it was like yeah, consistency is like a massive like part. Is just like. Man, yeah, just like time. yeah, just stuff like that was like it may feel like stop being consistent stuff, like obviously like numbers wise and everything is gonna show like Yeah. It's yeah, it's crazy how much time you have to like put into it. Um It's because like every single day, like I just I just wish I could go back and just like make a new channel just for shorts, because that's what I do now. I have a, I have a separate channel for it. Yeah. But, like, I, it's, like, almost at the point where, like, it's, like, too late now because, like, the majority of my subscribers are from those shorts videos. So, like, yeah, I deleted all my shorts. I made a new channel for them. I re-uploaded all of them. That channel's at, like, 700 subscribers, roughly, or, like, almost 800 now. But, like, when I started doing the shorts, I had, like, 4.5K or something from, like, just, stream, just streaming, you know, streaming and making videos on Battlefront 2, pretty much. And, like, yeah. Oh. And then after that, I got to, like, well, I'm at like 32k now. I went, I got to 33k, just off making shorts and edits and stuff. Yeah, no, you was pulling crazy views like in the shorts and stuff. Like, yeah, no, you... yeah, on shorts, yeah, I, I had like, I want to say, like, I think I had over 10 videos with over a million views. Yeah, that's crazy. That's insane. And that was at like, like, I was at like five or. Was it 300 mil views or something, like, overall? I think it was, uh, it was, like, 350 million views, like, overall. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, that's insane. I kind of... Um, yeah, I kind of... Um, I started doing the shorts as well, but, like... I got, like, a couple like couple thousand on, like, the odd one, but it was, like... But, dude, like, the thing is with me, like, I was doing them every single day. Like, I would, like... <laughs> Yeah, I would like make it like my number one goal to fucking make a short and post it. Yeah, and, like, so like on the algorithm, if it's a day, like you could lose your spot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I um, yeah, I got a little bit into the short stuff, but like I wasn't like not, I wasn't dropping one every day though. I was kind of glad like I gained like a hand, like maybe like one hundred subs, maybe like in total like maybe like a hundred or two hundred subs off the shorts yeah. I was posting. But I was kind of glad. Like, oh, by the way, before when I said three hundred million meant thirty million, not three hundred million. Oh. <laughs> yeah, 30 um, million, like as a channel, that's still a fuck ton though. Yeah, yeah, no, that's, that's a lot. Um. So yeah, I know. Um. So I dabbled into shorts a little bit, but I kind of was like, I kind of backed off, and yeah, I'm kind of glad I just kind of stick to more streaming route. So. Yeah, I still yeah, pull I shorts think, now, but it's one thing I could take back. Hundred percent that. Yeah, I still pull yeah, shorts now, that. but it's like it's just clips, so it's not edits. Um, yeah, and yeah, also on. I thought you should make a sports channel. Yeah, I don't know. I was, like, I don't know. I'm still like on the fence about it. Like, I don't know. You also, you had a crazy like. You were pulling crazy numbers on TikTok as well, bro. Like. Yeah, so I also got burnt out from making edits and shit, too, because when you do that every day for, like, fucking four months or however long I was doing it for, I don't remember. It, it's all, like, a blur to me now, to be honest. Yeah. But like, dude, you get burnt out. I took, like, a two- or three-month break. On, okay, so on TikTok, I got to, like, 25K. I'm at, like, 28K now. I'm, I'm making edits all the time now, uh, again. It's close to my different YouTube channel. But I still post on TikTok and Instagram. I'm at 28k now on uh, TikTok, but like my on TikTok, I was easily pulling like 20, 30, 50k a video. Yeah, no, like yeah, you're getting like, bro, like yeah, back in your TikTok prime, like bro, you're getting like yeah, minimum like what 20, 30k, like minimum. Like that, yeah, that was minimum. Like that was fucking crazy. Like that was like a, I was like way above like the average editor, bro. For like, especially one v one edits, like, yeah, no. Dude, like in my videos, like they weren't even like that, like crazy. Like they're just like like default cap, like cap. Edits. It's crazy. Like, like 
It was crazy, like, the evolution, though, just of, like, the edits. Like, even with, like, I was talking about this the other day, like, P&E? Like, like, bro, like... Yeah, um, you way better. Shout P&E, man, because, like, yeah, like... Because, like, we both, like, yeah, we both knew P&E, like, like, when he's still, like, just, like, first starting the 1v1 edits. And, like, we've literally seen his whole evolution just going from, like, cap cut, like, all the way up to, like, After Effects. And it's just crazy how much he's, like, progressed. And, yeah, it's wild. <laughs> he, yeah. He's definitely above, like, all of us now. Oh, 100%. Like, yeah, like, yeah, Peeny literally just, yeah, he literally skyrocketed through, like, all of ours. And it was, like, like, we're still evolving, too, but it's, like, because, like, we both tried, like, a light motion and stuff, but, like, After Effects, like, that's, like, the peak that you can get it to, you know, like, because, like, you can, like, just, yeah, the all, it's, all the effects and, like, the quality and stuff is just 10 times, like, just way better on After Effects, but... Yeah, no, TikTok is crazy. It was like, I've never really had like my TikTok Prime yet, but I was like, I don't know, like, I I feel like once you like find like your niche and like what what hits on you for TikTok and you post consistently, then you'll find like your Prime on TikTok. Yeah, I still, yeah, I still need my Prime on TikTok, but, um, but yeah, no, I don't know. I'm just kind of doing like the odd character edit, mainly one v ones. But I kind of I want to get a lot more into like character edits. So um, I I enjoy making them. So um, yeah. So yeah, no. And also speaking of TikTok, um, we both started clips accounts because that's kind of um that's kind of like the current way like the fastest way to grow like streamer wise and content creator wise is just through TikTok. Cause it's like TikTok's insane, bro. Like you know, like if you have like a couple of decent clips that blow up, and you start just getting good clips from like your streams and everything, is like yeah, you can easily grow so much faster. Um, yeah. I kind of, I kind of stopped. Like man, I posted like a handful of clips at the start, and then I kind of stopped. Um, <laughs> I gotta get yeah, me too. Like it's just, it's just like hard to keep track. It, of it, it, yeah, it's hard to keep track. Like. Cause like yeah, I'm over Twitch, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. Like, man, I'm trying to do everything, and like I don't know, like when I do something, I want to put like my most like amount of effort I can to it. Like, um, it's just kind of hard with like everything, but kind of still just chipping away at everything, you know. Um, yeah, yeah, no. See, like That's... me, I'm still posting edits. I'm trying to get back up there, but. Yeah, it's just been the algorithm on TikTok, man. What? It's hard to stay on the algorithm on TikTok. Yeah, you gotta like, bro. Yeah, you gotta be like doing it every day, bro. That's insane. By the way, is my mic like like lagging on all for you? Uh the very odd time. Yeah. Yeah, because yours is a little bit too. I don't know if it's on my end or your end, but. Yeah, you you have cut out a couple of times, but nothing crazy. How long have been going for? Okay, I've been going for fifty three minutes, like another like another like five minutes. Yeah, well, ready? Just yeah, fucking, fucking honestly, minutes, yeah. honestly, um, you know, this hours went by quick. But you might have to do another part. Yeah, no, honestly, like so, like this isn't talks. Yeah, I feel like people only talk about like high school and like a bit of TikTok and YouTube. We we just talk about a bit of TikTok and YouTube, yeah. And um, <clears throat> we're kind of thinking about this. I don't know; it's a future thing, but like we kind of like in the future, possibly if people like want in or like we get the time for it, like we want to do like like a co one, like 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 we're both of yeah, us like like make one together, like we want to get like like IRL. We're talking like, about like IRL, IRL we're like. See how this one does. Yeah, we're going to see how this one does because, like, we don't have, like, all the full equipment for it. But, like, in the future, like, we want to do, like, an IRL, IRL one, like, where, like, we have, like, cameras on us and then, like, we're sitting down and, like, talking. So that's definitely a future thing, though. Yeah. But, um, yeah, no, that's that's definitely in the works. That would be cool to do one day. Um, that's, like, the yeah. end goal right there. Yeah, that's the end goal. And it's, like... Oh, like, yeah, we're just doing this one for pretty much practice and for fun, but it's, like, most people, like, for their successful podcasts is, like, you kind of just, like, they have, like, a good, like, following or, like, a good community, like, when they do it. 
So it was like, like we're still obviously yeah. trying to grow our like channels and stuff. So, <laughs> but like, like I said, like the first episode, I got like a hundred views. So like, honestly, that's not like first episode is like an hour and 14. Like it's pretty good. So I think this one will do pretty good. Honestly, like it's a lot more. Yeah, it's going to hope for the best. Yeah. So I hope so. Um, I hope it does decent. Um, so are you thinking of ending soon? Okay, yeah, I got it. Okay, yeah, so the recording caps out at 60 minutes, so I uh, give a little okay, outro okay. here. Okay, so let, let, we, 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 we should end this off on, like, a, on a debate, okay? What do you, oh, God. Dude, I just, I think we just got to get out of the way, bro. Okay, wait, what? What, what? You know what I'm talking about? You talking about Bull vs. Batman, bro? Yeah. Oh bro, my I god. Like perfect way to end this off, dude. Bro. Okay. Okay. First, give me the version of Batman that he's going up against, and the version of Boba. Okay. Bo- we can, we can it. Bro. Um. Man, I don't know. Like. Okay, Arkham Batman. <laughs> Okay, okay, it's gotta be like Legend of Boba then. Bro, what? Okay, give me the version of Boba then. Um, the Book of Boba Fett, okay. Okay, that's not even fair, bro. Come on, dude. Batman No Diffs? Okay. Yeah, Um, Batman wins that. Okay, wait, what, what do you think is the most even matchup? Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Canon Boba versus like Netflix, I think is pretty even. Okay, okay, yeah, that's fair. Like Batman versus Superman, but like when you said like Batman versus Boba, I thought you were talking about like Pattinson, bro. Like, well, I mean Pattinson does slam too. Okay. <laughs> no, he does not. Oh, okay. Give him a couple more movies he, and he, he'll be in the talks. Okay, I, I like he in the in the Batman, he's fucking fodder, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Bro, he's only had one movie though, you know, so know, he's he's a good character, but he's pretty he's pretty shitty, like fighting wise. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Okay, honestly, like current Pattinson, then yeah, I'd give it to Boba. But honestly, okay, well, like, what, what about Batfleck versus like like Canon Boba? So I'm just gonna like give you a rundown on Boba real quick. So like, he was trained by like I don't know if you watched the Clone Wars, but like he was trained by like a bunch of old bounty hunters like Aura Singh and like and um obviously he's the son of fucking like Django, like he's a clone of Django, and um so like Django he killed the guy, so Boba is a direct clone of him. So he's pretty much Django Fett. So he has all of his traits, all of his instincts, everything like that. And like he's been a bounty hunter for his whole life, even when he was a little like a little kid. And like he has like a bunch of weapons, like flamethrowers, like pretty more like a lot of more weapons I would kill like than Batman. Okay, boy, I got a question for you. How come okay. how come Han no diffed Boba? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, we're not talking about Return of the Jedi. We're, we're, like, we're talking about like crime. Oh my god. Okay, well, oh man. I mean, honestly, like, honestly, I don't even know how Batflick be Superman, bro. Like, well, it. What's that? I don't even know, like, because Batflick for Superman, bro. I mean, really, you just, like,. Wait, anyway, is this like, is like, this... like what, what is Batfleck gonna do? Like, if, if Boba just like ignites his jetpack and like just starts fucking like shooting rockets at him? Wait, okay, is this Bat with prep? No, this is zero prep. Oh I'm just my god! Each other on the street, bro. <laughs> um. Okay, so Batman's gonna throw a batarang, right? It's gonna. Okay, but what if it misses him? What, what, what if what if he's like fifty <laughs> feet in the air? Okay, well. Batman is just him, so he can just kind of do anything. Okay. <laughs> okay. So wait, so he can, so wait, he can hit, so he can throw a batarang. It'll probably get Boba somewhere where armor's not covering him. Drop down to the ground. Batman will pin him. Start, start just, start just pounding the fuck out of him, and then he'll say, "Um, yeah, I am batter." And then. Armor. <laughs> <laughs> no, like he'll probably take off his helmet, start just, just <laughs> kind of just. 
<laughs> okay, honestly, like, looks like mag- magnetically sealed. Okay, wait. So, okay, honestly, like, if Boba's in, okay, wait, hold on. The recording's really just about to end. Wait, we'll go for like a couple extra. Hold on, hold on. Give me like okay. one sec. And we're back. I just had to reset the recording right there. Okay, so, um, okay, honestly, up close, um. No, I'll, I'll Batman shits on them. Okay, yeah, like lie. honestly, like if Batman gets close like, enough, Batman, he's he's mastered every single form of martial arts, and he's a, like a peak human being. Like, like hand hand, Boba gets shit on. I'm not gonna lie, but Boba has way more gadgets, way more weapons that would like immediately kill him. If, like, like hand to hand, no no suit, Batman shitting on like probably. Like, yeah, no yeah. I don't know. I guess if, if but if. If he can't, if Batfleck can't reach Boba though, then like I don't know, really know what Batman's gonna do. It's I, I don't is, like if Batman has like I don't know like the Batmobile, it's a different story. Okay, yeah, if he has a Batmobile, then he could obviously do something. But if it's just if it's just Batman, and then the only way Batman's really winning is if it's like up close, you get close enough. So I don't know. I guess it, you could say it's like fifty fifty then. It, it just it depends on the circumstances. Yeah, right? it just kind of depends. Yeah, it like yeah, it, it's all just really. Just so like, I feel like I feel like we should have like peony or something on the next pod or some shit like us three and like we should like just talk it, just straight debate. I feel like that would go crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, honestly, yeah. Okay, wait, peony. If you made it to this part, which honestly you should, if we just tell you that we just debate about Bo versus Batman, you'll just you'll watch it. So. Um, honestly, hop on for part of it. You don't even have to be on for the whole thing. You can be on for part of it. We can just let you debate for like 30 minutes or something. Um, honestly, though, successful episode. Honestly, that was, uh, that was yeah, dope. Say, like, we didn't really talk about much. But... Honestly, like, yeah, no, honestly, like, let us know. Like, if you made it to this part and you want, like, part two or, like, honestly, just run yeah, up the views. We're going to have to run that. Like, run honestly, just run up the views on this one. We'll make another part. Cause like we didn't even like get into like okay minimum hundred views we'll we'll get a part part two yeah minimum run us run us up to hundred views again we'll make a part two because like yeah we we only got into like Try to push small to, like, bit 20 of stuff like, twenty likes twenty likes same for like fifteen to twenty likes hundred views um yeah if you want to check how much did the last one get uh let me check real quick um hold on. Last one got 11 likes. Okay, so we can definitely do better than that. So, okay, yeah, if we get, like, another, like, another, like, 5 to 10 likes, be a W. Um, yeah, I have TyronScore19 on all platforms, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, uh, Twitch. Um, yeah, if there's anything you want to plug, you know, go ahead. You feel me? Pretty much just Rilo or Rilo edits on anything. Um and everything. Yeah, well, let us know how you guys feel about this episode. Um, I'm gonna try to get this edited. Hey, bro, this is just the, this is just the beginning, bro. Like, yeah, this is just like, beginning. We have no equipment, nothing. Like, just wait until like we're actually like, yeah. serious about this shit, and like, yeah, like what? Well, beginning, bro. Like, like once we take this serious. Way, yeah, wait. We had like okay. no planning. With the girl planning. Yeah, this was. By the way, like, this I just, I just joined party and we started talking, bro. That's how it worked. Th- this is literally off the dome, no stream. Like last one was during stream, but like this is like off the dome, no stream, no like literally just raw, just raw thoughts, literally everything. Yep. So, um, but like wait till yeah, just wait till we take this serious. Like once we take this serious, like it's gonna literally get ten times better. I'm telling you. Right. Um. But yeah, I know. Let us know what you guys think. Um, yeah. Appreciate it, Rilo, for hopping on the pod. And yeah, we're definitely going to run up another part. So It was, it was fun, bro. I, yeah, no. Know. No, that was a W. And uh, yeah, if you're new, drop a like, drop a sub. And yeah, I'll catch y'all on the next one, all right? Peace. Peace. Peace, peace.